US President elect Donald Trump is all set to assume office soon and he has announced the appointees for his cabinet and high ranks in administration. Trump's choices are some interesting names, including the eccentric billionaire Elon Musk. Here's a sneak peek into who all will run the United States of America. Let's begin with a big one. John Ratcliffe has been appointed as a director of the Central Intelligence Agency or the CIA. Ratcliffe has been a close ally of Trump and was the director of the National Intelligence at the end of Trump's first tenure in 2020. Quoting Colin Rudd, Ratcliffe has been a strong defender of Trump, specifically regarding the Russia collusion hoax. Indian origin Kash Patel was a strong candidate for this role but has missed out. William McGinley has been appointed as the White House Counsel. He has been a fierce advocate for election integrity. The official statement by Trump defined McKinley as someone who will help Trump in carrying forward America First agenda. Mike Huckabee, the former Arkansas governor, has been appointed as a U.S. ambassador to Israel. This role is big as the U.S. and Israel are important strategic and military partners. Huckabee has been a fervent supporter of Israel. The expectations from him would be to further strengthen relations with Israel and bring about peace in Middle East through dialogue. Pete Hexit, a former Army National Guard veteran, has been appointed as a U.S. Secretary of Defense. Pete has years of military experience in tours of Afghanistan, Iran and Guantanamo Bay as an infantry officer. Not only this, he has also been a host in Fox News for many years. Trump's expectation from him would be to revamp the American military from the get-go. Notably, Pete has been a fierce critique of introducing woke ideas and ideology among the military, so we can expect a pronoun-free US Army. Mike Waltz, the head of India Caucus, has been named as a national security advisor. Waltz has been known as a strong China critique. Furthermore, he is also a supporter of Indo-US ties. With his appointment, it is clear that the Trump administration will move with a muscular approach towards China, which will be beneficial for India, which itself has a complex relationship with China. Tom Homan has been picked by Trump as a border czar who will lead border security efforts. Homan will also prioritize the deportation of undocumented individuals from America. He seems the right man for the job with a past resume of a police officer and border patrol agent. He was also the former acting head of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Ellie Stefanik, a Trump loyalist, has been appointed as a U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. The official statement pointed out how she was a vocal critique of pro-Hamas rallies in U.S. college campuses after the 7 October attacks. Interestingly, if we take a closer look at this cabinet, it seems to be filled with China hawks, those who have called for stringent action against Beijing. John Redcliffe, Pete Hexit, Michael Walls, Elise Stefanik, all of them are known as China hawks, so bad news for Xi Jinping. Now let's come to two interesting appointments. Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk Vivek Ramaswamy recently shot to fame after his run for Republican presidential candidate. He won many fans across the social media for the clarity in his responses and articulate answers. He is also a successful entrepreneur. Meanwhile, Tesla chief and billionaire Elon Musk has been a vocal supporter of Donald Trump throughout the recent poll campaign. He is the owner of Twitter, SpaceX and Tesla Motors. Similar to Vivek, Musk is renowned for his charismatic personality which has elevated him to a social media celebrity status. Both of them have been given the responsibility to lead the Department of Government Efficiency or DOGE. And yes, this might be an intended pun by Trump who is known for his sense of humor. So this department, it will provide advice and guidance from outside of government and will partner with the White House and Office of Management and Budget to drive large-scale structural reform and create an entrepreneurial approach to government never seen before. Furthermore, even a deadline has been given for this department to complete its objectives till 4 July 2026, which coincides with the 250th anniversary of the US Declaration of Independence. Trump has also called it the Manhattan Project of Our Times. Since then, Manhattan Project is being discussed on social media platforms. But what is the Manhattan Project? The Manhattan Project was a top-secret US government program during the Second World War which was responsible for creating first nuclear bombs. Yes, the atom bombs which decided the fate of the Second World War with Japan effectively surrendering to the Allies. The entire Manhattan Project is considered an administrative marvel. At its peak, the project employed more than 1 lakh people with multiple sites around US, Canada and the UK. The result was the atomic bombs which killed and injured innumerable people in Japan leading to massive destruction. It made the US a global power with an unquestionable authority. Basically, the Manhattan Project was able to position US as a supreme force in geopolitics, a factor which can be seen even in present era. 
US is still considered ahead than many countries in almost any capability. All of it became possible due to a giant nuclear leap it took due to the Manhattan Project. Donald Trump and his supporters have banked on to the sentiment that the influence and power of America is fading. And one of the reasons for that is rampant bureaucracy and an out-of-control deep state. Interestingly, Trump has said earlier he will end the deep state. There's no world war in the current era, but the deep state is today influencing every global matter. From interfering in our individual rights and choices to carrying out regime change operations, the deep state has penetrated quite deep in the world and it is imperative that it, it should be dismantled. But the first step for that is controlling the US bureaucracy and stop the endless spending. And DOGE is expected to do the same. However, it would be interesting to see how it pans out. If you like this video, then kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel.